Hi guys, what's up? Toba Logo here, and we are back with the 2010 game Legendary Runs. You know how it is. We're grinding through every single nation on the planet to see which ones can be victorious on this difficulty. Today, we're doing it with Moldova. The reason being because Sheriff uh, are doing really well in the Champions League, like extremely well. They beat Real Madrid and they've beaten Dunham, uh, sorry, Shakhtar. And uh, yeah, they're just they're on a roll at the moment. They are really, really being so entertaining in the Champions League. One more win and they'll get through to the group stage at the time of recording anyway. If you're watching this further down the line, they might have even won the Champions League in a year's time. You never know, you never know. But we're going to do Moldova today. They are a one and a half star team. And I'm going to try and recapture some of that magic that we've seen from Sheriff in the Champions League. So let's just quickly draw the groups. And who have we got then? So we've, we're in a group with all European. It's all European. That's a bit... Uh, I, I mean, I'm okay with it, but it's just all European. Like, I want a mixture. But we've got Russia, Bosnia and Ireland. Our first match of the group stage is against Ireland. So, um, obviously, I can't really pick from the group who's actually going to be the harder opponent. Well, maybe Russia, I'd say. But out of the two other ones, Bosnia and Ireland, it doesn't matter who I get first. Um, it's going to be an even game uh, in either way from either three sides. All I can hope to do in this gameplay is really hold on and see if I can try and defend. Like the Champions League right now has just been absolutely crazy. Like we're seeing Barcelona drop points against teams that they really wouldn't like lose against. Like I know Benfica are good, but still. Like, Barcelona normally would, would beat Benfica under normal circumstance. But it's just been absolutely crazy. And then we got Real Madrid losing at home to Sheriff Tiraspol. Like, like they're, they're in the Moldovan League. Like, how does Real Madrid lose against them? I mean, I can understand Shakhtar. It could have been, like, a scene as a freak result. But, like... Sheriff did really well against Real Madrid, really well. And their last goal, the second goal, was was amazing. Just hit from outside the box, top corner. Oh, that's going to be a penalty. He's clipped me. Yeah, and that might be an injury. And it is. It's Frunzer with the injury. But he sacrificed himself for the greater good. And we got a penalty early on against Ireland. Oh, we have a star player here. Um, I can't. Ipuanu. Ipuanu. Okay, I've never heard of him, but maybe we can try and utilise him in this gameplay. Oh, it's never good to start off with an injury, but we could start off with a goal. At least the injury was to um, a winger and not like a defender, because obviously defence matters more when you're a smaller team. Of course, having a striker um, helps as well, but let's see if this guy can score. Oh my god, really? I didn't put that much power on it, and the star player blasts it over the bar, just like Bruno Fernandes did um, over the weekend. Uh-oh, Ireland pressing, don't you dare, good save, get in front of that, that was good defending. Get in front of that again, and he has, and they tackle me there, I can't get in front of him, and he scored, that's so annoying. I tried so hard to get the, the players in position, twice I blocked that ball, and it still fell to the Irish players, who just tap it in. And um, it's 1-0 to Ireland. That's frustrating. All that could have been avoided with just one clearance. Oh, no. There's no defence there. Okay, come on. Oh, they scored. Like, literally in quick succession. Doyle scores two goals. And this first game is getting out of hand now. Like, going 2-0 down. My defender pushed forward a little bit too much. Maybe that might have been my fault. But, yeah, no, that wasn't good. Go for the shot. Oh, wow, okay. You managed to miss that? I thought I had the perfect angle and everything, but no. Still remains 2-0 to Ireland. Could this be a goal? Yes, it is. A little bit of an accident from uh, the Irish defence because they pushed me over and they couldn't really... Well, they should have tackled me, really. It would have been a free kick uh, in that position right there. Luckily, I just got past him and tapped it in. We got a goal in this gameplay, so that's something... And uh, it's 2-1. Can we look for the second goal? Through ball here. Come on. Come on. Chip it up. Oh, it's still... Ah, oh, I was kind of hoping I'd get there first. But no. Shea Given got there. Go on. Oh, that was a fantastic save by Given. Literally, I was... I was like... I was about to get tackled. So I had to shoot. Like, right here. And... Oh, my God. Denied by Shea Given. 
Uh, I'm fairly sure I got fouled in the box then. My player went down. That's a good ball. Can we get there though? Yes, we can. Go to this guy. Go for the shot. Oh, yes, he scored. Nice. I can't believe that. We literally just cheesed our way um, back into this game. We literally cheesed it in the 90th minute. Like, just by quick passing in the box. Look at this. I Like, it gave me enough time to turn and shoot. And given almost saved it. Oh, Moldova. I mean, this game could have been like 4-2 or something. The amount of shots I've had. I uh, hit the post, missed the penalty, everything like that. But I'm I'm glad that I got the draw here. Well done, Moldova. Literally last kick of the game. Moldova draw 2-2 two -two against Ireland. Oh, maybe not. Like, Ireland are pressing. And um, they're going forward. Can we get it? No. 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 Oh, my God. That, that defending was just horrendous. That, that must have been like the 90 minutes plus 9 minutes or something. Look, look, get in front of that when you... Oh my god, I can't believe that. I cannot believe that. To lose a game in that fashion, the computer just pushed forward with like literally seconds to spare and literally has broken me. Like, I'm broken in the first game. I can't believe that. The only way we can do this now is to do our... Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> oh no. I can't believe that. That is shocking for Moldova. How do you let a goal... Like, how do you concede a goal like that? How do you concede a goal in the last minute like that? I was trying to get everybody in front of the ball. And by doing so, I screwed myself over. Our next match is against Bosnia. So now I know that I can score goals. I just need to make sure the defence is airtight in this game in order for us to progress. Everybody else in the group has three points. Everybody does. Russia, Ireland and Bosnia. So it's up to me now to get points on the board because I've got the game in hand at the moment. But I mean, like that extra time, that was like Fergie time, but like, I don't know, like I, the, uh, the manager back then for Ireland was Giovanni Trapattoni. So it was Trapattoni time for me. And my goodness, I thought I, like basically got back in that game like in the last minute and then like it done, must have been like 90 minutes plus eight it had to be i feel like moldova have good potential if you can actually get them rolling like if you if you were doing like a qualifying campaign with them i'm sure that you'd be able to get some good points from like other minnows like san marino and stuff but like there is potential there there definitely is well, that was definitely a foul. Pass to him. Go for the shot. Yes, that's 1-0. I love doing those types of shots. They're so cheesy. But Bugioff or Bugioff? 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 I don't know. Scores the goal. I can't read, honestly. I honestly just can't read any names that are foreign. I'm just so stupid. But yeah, that's 1-0. Um, nice little ball into the box. And um, the cheap, cheesy shot goes in. I mean, you have to on this difficulty. You have to do cheesy shots. There's rarely an occasion where you can actually just blast it from outside the box. Well, at least we're 1-0 up at the moment. And that's good. Because it takes a little bit of the pressure off. Get in front of the goal. And he scored! Nice! Okay, these are the types of shots we need to do. Sofroni scores in the 14th minute. It's 2-0 to Moldova thanks to Sofroni. Amazing little tap in there. Got, got in front of him. I mean, that's the kind of shots you need to do, I feel. I mean, this Moldova side, at the moment, we've got four goals in uh, two games. We, we might have conceded three against Ireland, but we're controlling Bosnia very well at the moment. Okay, Bosnia pressing. We need to deal with them. Get in front of your man. Oh, again, the same problems um, arise for Bosnia and Dzeko scores. I know it's Dzeko, and um, he's a star player on this game. Uh, for Bosnia, but we should have got in front of him and tackled him. We've been dealing well with Bosnia up until now. We can't let another one of those slip through the net. We just need to be tighter at the back. That's my main concern. It's just the defence. Keep going. Keep using that strength. Turn around here. There's a guy in the box you can pass to him. Let's go. Oh, that's a brilliant save. Just cross that back in. We might be able to get a header. No. To you. Finesse shot. Go for it. Yes, get in front of it. He scored, but it's offside. It's offside. That would have buried the game. 
That's a good ball. We could get our one more here. Yes, we have. That's a brilliant goal. We split their defence wide open. And Sofroni scores in the 81st minute. And it's 3-1 to Moldova. They shocked Bosnia here. Bosnia thought this was going to be a good victory for them. But as Moldova showed against Ireland, they can attack. But they just can't defend. But they've defended better in this game. And I'm very happy with this result. Now, we just need to stop this because, oh, that was a good one-handed save for the cameras. I mean, a little bit of showboating from the keeper on this play. Pass into the box. He went for the shot. It's going near post and nice, nice save. Oh, look at this. Sofroni, he's going through. This was the guy he called in to replace the other one that was injured and he just scores. It's 4-1 to Moldova. What a win this is. This is incredible stuff from Moldova. And I hope I'm doing all the Sheriff fans proud um, on this one. You know, we saw Sheriff beat Real Madrid and I've just smashed Bosnia 4-1. Obviously, if you're Bosnian, then this sucks. But, <laughs> I mean, it's not too bad. Not a bad result for us. It's game over and Moldova have won 4-1 against Bosnia. Incredible. And that will really help our sort of like position in the group because our goal difference now will be better now that we got four plus the two we got against Ireland that's six although we conceded three so it's a six four goal difference not bad all we need to do now is beat Russia so if you have a look at our group look at this it's basically identical in some in many ways um everybody's played two Everybody's got one win and everybody's got one loss. <laughs> everybody's got three points. So anybody can go through. Literally anyone can go through. And um, yeah, it's all down to the last game. We got to play uh, Russia and Bosnia got to play Ireland. The, the ideal situation really uh, is that obviously we win and um, just stay top. That's all we need to do. I really, 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 really hate playing Russia in any circumstances. You all know in the past when I played them, I call them out for being too defensive. But it's true, they are a defensive unit and I hate playing against them. Breaking them down is just like a massive chore. It really is. They're not like the, the, like the team that like blitzes you, like Italy. Italy will just blitz you constantly and they'll get like a 4-0 win or something against you and you're basically like, well, I'm out. I'm out. But what Russia love to do is they'll, they'll get that sneaky goal and then they'll sit on it for ages and I hate that so much. Oh, look, we're in behind. Come on, get straight. Sofroni, you've been so good in this tournament. Oh my god, you put it wide, we bowled it. All we needed to do was just like put it in one of the corners. Go on. Oh my god, keeper. He's going to keep that on. No, it's a corner kick to us. Header. Oh, he scored. Yes, that was the centre back. And it's 1 0. It's 7 off with the goal in the 35th minute. And it's 1 0 to Moldova. Nice header. That's what you need to do against Russia. You need to be powerful. You need to be sort of in their face. Like, you're going to go defensive, then I'm going to keep attacking. I'm going to keep pounding the ball into the box. I'm going to keep shooting. That's what you need to do. He out-jumped. Um, was, was that uh, Denisov? He out-jumped him. Usually Russia's, like, players are bigger, stronger. Oh, what's happening here? He just took out Savinov? Is that going to be an injury? It is. Why would you do that? Why is the game so hell-bent in injuring my players? Seven off the goal scorer. He was a right back and he's rated 58. He's rated 58 and he scored against Russia. Through ball here and Sofroni's going through. There's no stopping this man in this tournament. He's about to finish this game off. And he has. He has. He scored and it's 2-0. Russia have been done. I've outplayed him. Like, out-defending them, and yes, just I just can't believe that. Like, usually I struggle so hard against Russia, but I did it. It's 2-0, and we surely, apart from a big collapse, we surely are through to the round of 16. Russia are pressing. Kurchikov crosses it in. That took a wicked deflection, and I don't know why we had to header it out there. Goalkeeper, just a little touch on that one. Why couldn't you pick it up? It was going at a snail's pace. This game never fails to shock me. Like, seriously, just pick that up. Russia have got the goalkeeper up in the 89th minute. 
Please don't you... No, it's going towards the goalkeeper. Oh, good save. I was kind of thinking Akinfeb was going to header it in. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. This is a good chance. This is a brilliant chance. This is a... Br oh, that was a hor horrible shot. I mean... Uh, I don't know. You don't really score those, to be honest. Not from that angle, anyway. And it's 2-0 to Moldova. We go through to the round of 16. Our next match is against Canada. How about that? We didn't get someone massively overpowered, like Brazil or Argentina or whatever. We got Canada. I'm, I'm loving that. I love that. But here are the other results that's happening in the World Cup. You've got France beating Cyprus 3-1. Uh, Turkey beating Argentina on penalties. Uh, it doesn't say, but it was 1-1 in that game. Italy versus Egypt. Moldova versus Canada. Croatia beat Colombia 1-0. Ukraine beat USA 3-2. England versus Sweden. Round of 16 time. Moldova versus Canada in the round of 16. So I'm not going to say it's an easy opponent because nobody's easy at this stage. But at least it's not like, like I said, Italy or France or someone like that. Is someone that I can actually like play a little bit more flashy against, if you know what I mean. Be a bit more like confident on the ball, shoot from long range if I want to. I feel like Moldova have got onto that stage now in terms of form where they can do that sort of stuff. Get it? No! Oh my god, a little bit of a mix up from the defence and the goalkeeper. And they score! Well. Wow. A little bit of a mix-up from defenders and goalkeeper. I don't know why the goalkeeper like kind of came out and then didn't. Um, yeah, their defender scores. And it's 1-0 to Canada. Can't really lose this game. I don't really want to lose it. Good pass into the box. Oh, how do you miss that? Like, how do you miss that kind of shot? Go for the shot. Oh, my God. Missing an opportunity like that again? Like, we've missed two opportunities right in front of our goal like that. Like, we cannot afford to miss many more, because if Canada get another goal, we are basically screwed. All right, here we go. We're in behind. Come on. Finesse shot again, wide of the goal. This team is not got any kind of shooting boots on at the moment. Di Rosario running down the wing. Nobody's getting towards him. They cross it in. Headed away. Good header away as well. And we've reached half time. There's 1-0 to Canada. We have had a lot of shots in this first half. And we haven't put any chances away. Oh, miss kicked the ball, why don't you? And they almost score from it. Don't do that. Like, that was a horrendous move. Miss kicking the ball there. Like, that is low effort, like, football. He's going to shove me off. And how is that even a legal challenge? Like, that was like, yeah, finally, that was a little bit of a late decision. I looked away, that's why, I looked away from the screen, so I was in disbelief that that couldn't have been a red card, but thankfully, it was crossed in. Header. Oh my god, again, wide of the post. What are we doing, Moldova? What are we doing here? What are we trying to achieve? There's only 15 minutes of this game left to go, and Canada still 1-0 up. Despite having, like, not even a third of our shots. Go on, go for the shot. Oh my god, man. Seriously. How do you miss that chance? How do you... Well, he didn't miss it. The goalkeeper saved it. But, like, oh, what a save. Go for it. Oh my god. Yes! 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 We've deserved that. You cannot say we didn't deserve that. So Froni comes up big in the 90th minute. And that's another 90th minute goal, but it goes my way. And oh my god, this match was like, it shouldn't have been this difficult. It really shouldn't have been. And that was a gift from the goalkeeper. All he needed to do was push it the opposite way and Canada would have won the game. Well, we're going to extra time against Canada and look at the amount of shots. Like, I'm telling you right now, I, I predicted that they didn't even have a third of my shots. And look at that. Are you kidding me right now? 12 shots, only one goal. That's a standard game of FIFA right there, I'm telling you. Like, we should be winning. Absolutely. Right, look at this situation right here. You've got to capitalise. We could. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Oh my... Oh, that, like, seriously, are you joking right now? Off the bar from a shot like that, I thought I looped the keeper perfectly, but of course not. And it's still 1-1.
honestly, it's been very wasteful from them, considering that, you know, from the other games. Did you just see that in the Canada huddle? Like, one of the Moldovan players was just standing there in their huddle. Okay, well, penalties it is then. It's Brulat. And um, will we be able to score this? Hopefully. Yes, okay. Nice penalty. Move on to the next one. It's Canada's first penalty with Di Rosario. Come on, let's see if we can get this guy's penalty so I slips he does a John Terry he slipped on the penalty spot and it's 1-0 to Moldova now this guy with no stamina can he score to put us 2-0 up he has nice one okay just gotta keep it this way now um it's Gerber Gerber with the pen can he ha like help at all oh, these are terrible penalties for for Canada right now we score another one we have got a massive advantage over him so Canada showing that they can't really score pens, and that's okay with me. So Moldova now need to save this penalty, and it's serious. Is that right? Serious with the pen? Come on. Okay, like nice safe penalty there from Sirius, and it's a free one on penalties. Now, can I score this one? I think, would it be over if I score this one? I think it is. Uh, yeah, from the looks of the celebrations, that was one of the shortest penalty shootouts I've done in a while. Very, very short, but Moldova squeezed by, by Canada, and um, we need to take lessons from this game, and um, it wasn't a good game. It wasn't a good game in terms of the wasteful chances we had, considering Canada only had about four shots and almost scored all of them. Well, who's our next one then? It's Egypt. Nice. So Egypt knocked out Italy. Okay, okay. We're getting we're getting some good teams now in this World Cup. France versus Turkey in the semi-final. Egypt versus Moldova. Croatia versus Ukraine. And England versus Germany. All right. Moldova versus Egypt. Can we learn our lessons from the last game and actually score most of our chances that we did against Canada? We'll have to find out. Egypt are slightly better than Canada on this game. They're rated slightly lightly better. Over the top here. Yeah. Come on. Can you score this? I'm just going to sweat. That's just an easy opportunity. And it's 1-0 to Moldova. And it's Frunzo with the goal. Um, that was the bloke who got injured. And um, so Sofroni is not playing at the moment. Um, so I might say Sofroni for the semi-final if we get in there. But that was a nice shot by Frunza, and it's 1-0. Uh-oh, we're exposed at the back, and it's Zaki going through. No! Oh, okay, I thought he scored, but it's fine. I would have thought he would take it in the box and just sort of slide it in. I think that would have been the better option. Go on, go for the shot. Yes, nice one. It was nicely played in the box, and Frunza, back from injury, gets a brace. How about that? I mean, look at this ball here. You saw him drifting over there, and it was it was onside, obviously, and we tap it in. It's 2-0 against Egypt just before half-time. This Moldova squad, absolutely insane at the moment. Get in front of the ball, nice defending. We've been steadily improving our defence, which I love that about Moldova. And look at that through ball. This guy is literally in open space. There's nothing they can do here. There's absolutely nothing. And Moldova take a 3 0 lead. And it's just absolutely incredible what this team has achieved in these past few matches. Can they go all the way? Possibly. If the other results go my way, who's to say that it can't go to a final? Uh oh. Oh, that was Egypt's. Well, one of Egypt's only shot in the game. We've been that good defensively. Corner to the Egyptians. What are they going to do here? There's not much they can do, really. I mean, they're going to score. Yeah, I mean, we couldn't get in front of that. And we concede. And it's uh, Goma with the goal in the 88th minute. And uh, it's 3-1. But I'm not really too concerned about it. We're still through. We're still cruising in this game. And there we go. We've beaten Egypt. And we're into the semi-finals of the World Cup. Either against France or Turkey. We're guaranteed fourth place. What this Moldova team has done has been absolutely amazing. The start, when we lost against Ireland, I was like, here we go. It's just going to be one of these runs where I score lots of goals, but I don't get past the group stage. But we've turned it around. 
and what a turnaround it is. So I just seen that France beat Turkey 1-0. So this is the biggest team we've played so far. It's going to be a big one. It's France and uh, England beat Germany 2-1. And Croatia lost against Ukraine on penalties, which sets up a semi-final on the other side. Ukraine versus England. Imagine if we got Moldova versus Ukraine in the final. Because I'm fairly sure they're neighbours. Am I right in saying that? I'm fairly sure they border each other. Here we go. France versus Moldova. And this has just been amazing, this World Cup for Moldova. Lots of goals. Lots of upsets. And... Um, we just need to do one more to get past France and then maybe another one if we get to the final. But please, like, I know how good France are in this game. I just hope that they don't play very well against me. Semi-finals can be a bit of a struggle at times for me. That, yeah, that's a brilliant ball. But the defender just got me and just couldn't do anything about it. Just go for the shot. Just go, oh, just over the bar. Shoot. Oh, my God, Lloris. Really? Oh, my God, we could have taken the lead before half-time. That would have been huge. Okay, so it's half-time. We survived 45 minutes. France haven't had too many imposing chances. We've had the better ones. Um, they'll be feeling more frustrated than I am. I'm going to do something that might surprise you guys. I'm going to bring on... Um, whoops. Uh, I'm going to bring on uh, uh, the bloke who I had at the start. Even though Frunza is a good player... I feel like the guy I use, Sofroni, has got better form. And I feel like I can utilise him better in this game. So I'm going to do that. Sorry to Frunza, but yeah, it's just obviously uh, Sofroni has played in more games. He's the top goal scorer. I don't know why I haven't even got him on the pitch. Crossed in. No, please don't. And Shignac just puts it wide. I mean, it's that kind of cross where you know the defender's going to get like nothing on it. And Benzema's coming on now, so that's even worse because Benzema's a brilliant striker, as we all know. Go on. Go on. No, no, no. I was going to celebrate then. I was legit going to celebrate. But, oh, my days. How do you miss a shot like that? These slide tackles are coming in thick and fast from France. They just do not want me to go through. And none of our players are getting in the correct positions. And they're going to ramp up the ante and really take it to me. I don't know why my defenders face past me like that. Thierry Henry hits the outside of the post from that stupid angle. It almost went straight in. Okay, it's up. Oh, really? I had a chance. Okay, we, we're, we're in extra time. Not brilliant. I wanted to get a goal. It's been a very even game, surprisingly. That's got to be a red. That has to be a red. That has to be. Abadal is off. Come on. Yes, go away. Get off the pitch right now. This game is really trying to stop me. It, it feels like I just can't get past France's defence. They're down to 10 men. Look at this. What's going on in the field right now? Now, this has to be a goal, right? I mean, you're looking at a guy who's going for a goal. Oh, my God. You suck. This guy, the other guy, Bukioff, or whatever his name is, he sucks in front of goal. He absolutely does. If that was the other guy, 100% in. Just feels like France don't have 10 men. It feels like they still have 11. It feels like it. feels like I'm just not even here. That's a good ball, though. Ah, oh, pushed away by the goalkeeper. Get it back in that box. Oh, my God. Great save. Yes! Yes! Come on! Come on! Yes! And it's Sofroni, of course it would be. Of course it would be. And in 116th minute, we get that goal that could take us to the final. Oh my god. This this game has been absolutely like insane. Look at that save by Lloris. Thankfully, Sofroni was there to tap it in. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Oh my god. Like, oh my god. Five minutes to hold on. Five minutes to hold on in game time. Can we do it? Come on. Pass out to you, and we're about to score. Yeah, it's 2 0. See you later, France. See you later, semi final curse. We're in to the final. Oh my god. This is legit like the craziest run I've done in a while. It's really crazy. Like, how on earth, like, we survived this, like, game? The semi final curse is broken, and we're in to the final with Moldova.
France pressing, they're going to score this, aren't they? No, they didn't. Strangely enough, they didn't go for the shot. And it might be too little too late from them. Clear that away. And yet, we're in the final. Either against Ukraine or England. My really, really, really hope is against Ukraine. I hope so. Please, please can we go against Ukraine. You know it's just going to be England. I honestly can't believe that. And we're against England in the final which is a little bit, I, I'm not a letdown, but I rather would have had Ukraine for the matchup and France beat Ukraine 3-1 in the third place playoff. So we're against England in the final and um, this is it. This is it. This is the closest I'll come to winning uh, a final with a one and a half star, star team for a while, literally for ages. This is it. This is it. The final of the 2010 FIFA World Cup. Alternate in my universe. Moldova versus England. We've been in this situation before with a one-star team. I think it was with Barbados. I can't remember. I'm not too sure. You, you all have to go through. But I haven't been this close with a one-and-a-half-star team or one-star team for so long. And I'm just hoping that England are off form in this game. They're playing Peter Crouch in this game. <laughs> I mean, fair play. I mean, if they want to do that, he might be like scoring tons of goals. But we just need to do this for the for the country of Moldova, for Sheriff FC. Can we do this, please? Oh, this is really good play by England. It's actually so annoying when a team is just unstoppable like England in a final as well. You just hate to see it. The game's really ramping up the ante now. It's like you may not win on Legendary with a one-star team. That not happening. It's like, it is going to happen, and it's going to happen with this. Oh my god, that chip shot was horrible! Why did I go for the chip there? Why? Why can I just not put it on the floor? Can we survive for 45 minutes? That's the question. That's on everybody's mind right now. I mean, that was a ridiculous ball, and it glances past the post from a header. The England are playing some insane, like, crosses into the box. Right, let's get, um, Sifonio on, or whatever his name is. Come on. Let's do this. Let's, let's get, biz let's get real here. Come on. Let's get down to business. Moldova need to, to sort this out. It's been quite close, to be honest. England have had the better opportunities, but, again, it's just, uh, you know, because they're overpowered. That's why. We're not getting anywhere near England at the moment. That's a bit concerning. Crouch. Bad header, though. Oh, every time England go for on goal, my heart just keeps beating. Like, stop. Stop doing this. Please stop being good. Huddleston's coming on, so the substitutions from England are a bit strange. Still no Rain Rooney to try and get in front of in, in this game. Crossed in. Go for the header. Go on. Oh, my God. Like, this has been easily the most competitive final I've been in for a while. Like, between these two. Like, both of these sides don't want to give anything up. It's been absolutely absurd. Like, the amount of, like, defensive tackles that have been from England. And here we go. We got on up. We got a breakthrough. Come on. Oh, no, it's offside. Like, why give me that impression in the first place? <sighs> Ferdinand again cuts it out. It's just been one of those games where Ferdinand... Uh, it's just there, constantly. Or Terry. Or John Terry. It's just been so irritating. I haven't got the stamina to catch up to this guy. Get in front of him! That was so close to bottling the final. Good save. Please get in front of him. That was really close. Stupidly close to losing the final to BS. Honestly. That corner, this better not like result in a goal. Yeah, that's fine. It's extra time in the World Cup final between Moldova and England. And this game has just been, it's taking it out of me. This whole run has taken it out of me. And I just, <laughs> I just can't believe I've got this far. Eight shots for England, five for Moldova. Please, can we just find something? Come on, Sofroni, you can do it. Stupid game, honestly. Stupid game. Stupid game. Honestly, I couldn't get rid of it. And it's Jermaine Defoe again. Again, Jermaine Defoe scores against me. Oh, 
I hate playing England now because it's always Jermaine Defoe that scores against me. We've had so many chances to try and get past Rio Ferdinand and John Terry. And it's been relentless, to say the least. To say the least, it's been so relentless from those two. If They are good defenders. Of course they are. But I'm using every exploit in the book to try and get past these guys. So, Froney, can he be the hero? Can he? No. Yes, he can. He can be the hero. Nice. Off the post and it's in. I thought when I when I um hit like hit the goalkeeper that shot, I was like, there's no way I'm getting that rebound. But Sofroni again comes up clutch and it's 1-1. One, one. Thank God. The emotions are draining me. <laughs> the emotions are draining me in this final. I mean, the game, to have me hit the post like that and have it just to squeeze in, it's just classic 2010 World Cup. Honestly, this this game, this run has been absurd. Didn't really want to go to pens, but it's fine. Fine. You know, England's track record in tw before 2010 and around 2010, they didn't win many shootouts, so it might go in my favour. But this is it. This is it. It's all down to chance now. It's all down to chance. And it's sad. Look at that bar. Are you kidding me? Like, to the left? Yeah, fine. I like going to the left. I think it's quite a surefire thing. Okay, it's Gareth Barry with the penalty. First penalty for England. Down the middle. And he's hit the bar. He's hit the bar. He's hit the bar. Okay. He's hit the bar. Bulat now. No stamina. Bar going all over the place. Puts it in the green. To the left, yes! We're 1-0 up against England in the final on penalties. Okay, it's Steven Gerrard. He's pretty decent at penalties. He's definitely going to score this. <gasps> Off the bar again! Oh my god! Oh my god, don't bottle this. No, we need to focus. We need to focus. It's Kalinkov. Kalinkov. He's put it in the yellow, which shouldn't be that bad, and he scored. Okay, we're 2-0 up against England. Moldova on the fringe of winning the World Cup. Me on the fringe of winning on Legendary with a one-star team. Come on. J Jermaine Defoe. He's definitely going to score, isn't he? Oh, down the middle. Okay. Okay, it's fine. We just need to keep scoring our penalties. England fans are really worried. If this guy, who hasn't been very good all tournament, he hasn't been good in front of goal anyway. And he scores. Finally. Okay. And I think that's it. Is that it? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. We did it. We did it. We won the World Cup with a one-star team on legendary difficulty. How long has this taken me? How long has this taken me? Like, literally, like, a year. Even on any difficulty, when I've been building up from professional to uh, world-class to legendary, I haven't won a single World Cup with a one-star team. I mean, Moldova are technically a one-and-a-half-star team, but we'll, we will allow it. And, oh, my God, I can't believe it. I mean, I can't believe it. <laughs> I can't believe it. This run has been so emotionally draining that I can't even scream or shout about this achievement because I'm so drained from it. Honestly, like, I can't believe it. I honestly can't believe it. We did it on Legendary Difficulty with a one-star team. My voice hurts. This is what we've been waiting for. Like, every time we've been doing the runs on um, this World Cup game, we have been waiting for a moment like this. Of course, we're still going to carry on with the nations that we uh, need to do, the ones we haven't done. But to do this is, like, amazing. So I'm going to leave you guys to watch the celebrations with Moldova because I can't talk anymore. Honestly, I really can't. I'm so drained. If you did like this video, and I'm sure you did, I'm sure you guys love this video. I hope so anyway. Then give it a like and subscribe. Keep it local as always. And I'll see you again for the next video. Celebration, but they deserve it now. They stuck together and they produce World Cup winning football. And they will go on and they need fear nobody now. Nobody will want to play this side in the future. The world is quite literally their oyster. Well, thank you for joining Andy and myself for a memorable World Cup. These scenes just show what this trophy, what this tournament still means until Brazil in 2014. We wish you good luck and goodbye.